Hello guys! In this short video tutorial, we will learn how to create a volume campaign as well as the similarities and differences between a standard campaign and a volume campaign. For starters, let's click on the Add Campaign button and let's select Add Volume Campaign. Once again, we are at the Overview tab. You can type the name of the campaign. Then you have the option for tags. Enable signature to add a custom text at the end of your post. Shorten all the URLs from the post. Enable Find a Replaced for Post Text. Allow publishing of text posts with links on Pinterest. So pretty much the same options that you have on the standard campaign. Let's go now to the What to Publish tab. For the What to Publish tab, you'll see that it's really similar to that of a standard campaign. So you also have a box where you can type in your post. And you'll also see that it's valid for posting on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and LinkedIn. If you want to add an image, you just click on the Photos. And then you can upload an image from your computer or add images from a URL. So let's say we want to upload from a computer. And let's choose an image, add the photos. And you also see that it's now valid for posting on Instagram and Pinterest. If you're done with creating your post, you can add it to the post list or if not you can add it to drafts. You can also add posts from Flickr or Pinterest, add posts from RSS feeds, clickable image post, and share post. Let's go now to the where to publish tab. From here you can choose where you want to publish. Since this is a volume campaign you can choose more than 10 destinations so if you have hundreds and hundreds of destinations it's fine. You can do that on a volume campaign. When to Publish tab. You'll notice that the When to Publish tab of a volume campaign is quite different from that of a standard campaign. Though they both have the option where you can set the number of posts per day, it does not have the timers unlike in that of a standard campaign. It's because a volume campaign posts to a lot of destinations, so you cannot target or be specific about the time that it's going to publish a post. Then you have publish a post on all selected destinations. By default, this is selected, so let's unselect this one. And you'll see publish on 50 random destinations. Let's change the value, let's say 35. How this works is based on the settings that I specified, it will randomly choose that number from the total destinations then it will repeat the same process the next day and so on and then you have here add random sleep time while publishing let's enable this from here you'll see that even if you choose a higher number of randomness of posting you may still configure it to post for a random amount of time after a random number of posts then you have publishing delays the wait around timers actually implies that it's also a random time between minus 15% and plus 50% percent of the value you input for the wait around time. So for the default or the example that we have here, the value is 300. So it's going to be somewhere between 300 minus 15 percent and 300 plus 50 percent. Then finally you have days of the week when to publish. Just like in the standard campaign, you get to choose the days of the week when you want to publish your post. So you can unselect the days when you don't want to publish the post or you can select it again if you wish to publish it on that day and it's going to publish between the hours of 12 a.m. and 11.59 p.m. Then you have the drafts tab. Here is where you're going to find all the unfinished posts that you've created. So if you go back to the what to publish tab, you'll see the add to drafts button. If you click this, it's going to send the post to add to drafts. But if you're done creating the post, you can click on add to post list and it's going to send it to the post list tab. As you can see, we have here the post that we've created. So if you're fine with the post that you created, you can go back to the Overview tab and click Start Publishing. Once you click on Start Publishing, it's going to change the status of the campaign to an active one. Then you go to the History tab. This is where you're going to see all the posts that have been made. And if you click on Details, you'll see a more specific status report for each destination. You'll see here if it's finished posting on on that particular destination or if it's still in progress and you'll also see if it's successful or not. That's it. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye!